for, for the station, for John Jeff, for my greetings and felicitation to the leadership team here for the founding of this conference and for trusting uh, my friend Pastor Tyrone Clark in inviting me to be here on your 17th leadership conference. First, St. John chapter 5. Let me read the Amplified Version. Later on, verse 1, later on, there was a Jewish festival for which Jesus Christ went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem a pool near the Sheep Gate. This pool in the Hebrew is called Bethsaida, having five porches or doorways. In these lay a great number of sick folks. Some blind, some crippled, some paralyzed, shivered up, waiting for the bubbling up of the waters. For an angel of the Lord went down at an appointed season into the pool and moved and stirred up the water. And whosoever then first, after the stirring up the waters, stepped into, was cured of whatever disease for which he was afflicted. Verse 5. And there was a certain man who, who had suffered with a deep-seated lingering disorder for 38 years. When Jesus noticed him lying there, helpless, knowing that he had already been long in that condition, he said to him, Do you want to become well? Are you really in earnest about getting well? The invalid answered, Sir, I have no one when the water is moved to put me into the pool. For while I am trying to get into it myself, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your bed, your sleeping pad, and walk. I want to speak for a brief moment on this scene, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for my miracle. It is time. It is time for my miracle. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we celebrate you today. We thank you, God, for what you have already orchestrated and thank you for what you're about to do. We celebrate the activity of your spirit. We celebrate God, the, uh, the leadership that all the visionaries that have been, been placed at this moment, oh God, for our edification and for our blessing. We pray now that you confirm your words today with blessings, with miracles, with signs and wonders, and bring glory to your name. We thank you now in Jesus' name. You have Matthew, Mark, and Luke. They are classified as the synoptic gospel. The synoptic because they give one view, a similar view. And when you evaluate the text and 
uh, evaluate the, the context of it, Matthew, Mark, and Luke uh, seem to have, in their editorial machinery, uh, gleaned from similar materials in their presentation of the life of Jesus. Right. However, uh, the Gospel of John is somewhat different in every way. And so when we evaluate it, it is not classified as a synopsis gospel. It sits on its own. And so then, when we evaluate the Gospel of John, John uh, starts in a different place. He does not deal with the biblical genealogy of Jesus. Does not need to tell us who begot whom and who is the father of whom. Because after all, he knows that Matthew, Mark, and Luke has already dealt with that bit of material. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that in this hour, in this moment, in the history of the church, God does not want clones in the house. He wants original. God does not want copies. He wants original because he wants you in your unique self to manifest his power on the earth. The, the presentation of these four Gospels. You can imagine a, a revolving platform right at the center of that middle aisle. And, and you've got four Gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, four corners of this edifice. And Jesus the Christ is on that revolving platform. At any given moment, at any given moment, in any cycle of the hour, each of those particular biographical steps will be completely different and unique at any moment in that evaluation of Jesus. He's on a revolving platform in the four corners of this building. As they e evaluate Jesus, they will see something totally and absolutely different, but yet describing the Jesus, the Christ. And so equally, as you and I are
going through. Watch this. Now, 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 now the text, you're familiar with, so I'm not going to beg you with the text, but you're familiar with the text. But, 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 here we, here we, here we, this. Now, scripture says that as a sheep in the entry into the old Jerusalem, there's a pool. The Jewish scholar says that particular pool was utilized for the washing and the preparation and preparatory processes of the sacrifice. Sacrifice was washed and checked out and it was satisfactory to be offered to God. Now, I am amazed in the 21st century pastors where people think they can give God anything and God must accept it.
that 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 the altar was for sinners, but it's not. The altar is not for sinners. The altar is for the saints. Same frame. Right. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
fingers in each hand. And he had a double big toe. Now, the double big toe is easy in the shoes. But that extra finger, it looks like a finger. It grows a nail on it. But if you grasp something, it would hang and would not function as a finger. The word wizard in the text has to do with something that looks physically normal. The black is capacity to function as it was designed.
been waiting here for so long. Did he say that? No. He said, Are you ready?
And as he got short, a lady was at the back, and she came up, she said that she has AIDS. Alright. Full blown AIDS. Full blown AIDS. She has to go to the hospital once a month to check her antibodies and so on and so forth and get a booster from to try and extend her life. I said to her, do you believe that God is able to heal you of AIDS? Right. She said yes. Bishop, we prayed yes. and went back to London. The Bishop of, of Nigeria, Bishop Superdeck, called me about maybe about 21 days later. He said, Pastor, do you remember the young lady that you prayed for who was sick with AIDS? I said, I remember the condition, not the person. He said, well, she went to the hospital for a month for the checkup. And the doctor looked, took true blood and tested it. And said to her, is she sure that that is her blood? He then sends it out to three other medical centers to test her blood. And all three return with no sign of Thank you. 
Hallelujah. If you're not coming this way, I want you to pray. What the musicians to play? If you're a singer, you want to sing some songs. I want.